guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i figured i would show with you guys the products that i'm going to leave behind in 2018 and it's either because these products didn't really work for me or i found better products that kind of replace them so if you guys want to see what these products are then of course let's get started all right so keep in mind i have a mixture of makeup products and skincare products however i don't have as many because i did kind of like declutter my collection throughout the year i don't like to hoard makeup i don't like to just keep products just because so if a product didn't work for me throughout the year i either returned it or gave it away to like my friends um but i did have a few products that kind of lingered behind so i kind of figured let's just share them with you so starting off the first one is going to be a foundation it's actually going to be the makeup revolution foundation stick and i did feature this product on a tutorial before on my channel and i told you guys that i wasn't a fan of the product because i kind of felt like it was too greasy on my skin and even though i have dry skin i don't want a product to make it feel like super greasy and everyone kept saying it's going to be perfect for dry skin which i do agree with that comment but I just kind of feel like for me i wasn't a fan of it and i tried to give it a try again and i liked it a little bit better but it still wasn't enough to blow me away in terms of actually reaching for the product throughout the year and after those two times i stopped using a product to be honest so i was not a fan of it i have the color called f13 and i told you guys the shade range it's definitely not the best this room for improvement but i do like the newer foundation the makeup revolution conceal and define foundation that one is so much better it's definitely a full coverage foundation and i think if you have dry skin you will like that one too but i just kind of feel like for me this product wasn't used in 2018 and i know for sure it will, not, it will not be used in 2019 so i'm just going to go ahead and leave it in 2018. all right next one is pretty much going to surprise you guys because you know i love this product it was pretty much my holy grail foundation back in 2017 and a little bit of 2018 like in the very very beginning but i haven't reached for it since i found some newer foundations that i liked it's going to be the maybelline fit me and smooth dewy foundation you guys i i am so surprised and i'm going to pretty much just sit it to the side but to be honest like i told you guys i stopped using the foundation because i found the nyx can't stop won't stop i found the makeup revolution one i found the maybelline super stain which that one pretty much replaced this one to be honest but it is still a really good foundation and i do feel like if you have dry skin you should definitely give it a try um if you have oily skin you have the one that's for oily skin but i just kind of feel like other foundations have came and pretty much just taken the place of this one but i do still feel like it's a really good product i just haven't reached for it in quite a bit of time and i just kind of feel like i'm not going to reach for it next year either because or this year because they're going to be even newer products that's going to be coming out so i do like it a lot but i just kind of feel like it had its chance back in 2017 and it had its chance the beginning of 2018 new products came along and i pretty much just had it to the side but i still do like it a lot i'm not gonna throw it away of course i'm not gonna do that I'm just going to put it to the side and just kind of use it like off camera or different things like that but you won't see it on camera anymore just to be honest so yeah it's going to be the maybelline dewy and smooth fit me foundation again it's a bomb foundation there's nothing wrong with it it's just newer products have came and taken the place of that product as far as being like my number one foundation for the drugstore all right next product is going to be the maybelline fit me shine free balance foundation stick i honestly will say i am not a fan of foundation sticks i have tried to utilize them quite a bit in 2018 i had the one by l'oreal and i had the maybelline fit me and it's not a bad product at all i just don't like foundation sticks i have come to terms that i prefer an actual liquid foundation and i don't know if it's because my skin is dry i just like to have the feeling of the actual like liquid on my face it just kind of feels more i guess hydrating to me per se um compared to an actual stick foundation but it's not a bad product i just honestly prefer liquid foundations and i didn't really reach for it that much in 2018 it just kind of like sat on my desk and it just pretty much just stayed there so i don't see myself reaching for it next year and i just kind of feel like you know it it served its purpose for the moment but I just didn't really reach for it that much to be honest 
So moving on to the next product, it's going to be by e.l.f. It's going to be the Illuminate and Face Primer. I featured this product to you guys in a actual tutorial and I wanted to get it because I thought it was going to be a pretty cool product in terms of wearing under my foundation to give my skin a nice radiant glow from within. And I was just kind of thrown off by the product. So when you apply the product on your hand and you blend it out, it leaves this like golden consistency right here. And when you have that consistency on your face, it looks really awkward and weird. And I was just like, is this supposed to do this? Like, it looks kind of weird. And then when I applied my foundation, I didn't really see anything happen. It's almost like the product just kind of like sat on my skin and nothing happened. So after the first time I used it, I was pretty much just kind of thrown off by it. So I haven't used it since then. And I just kind of feel like there probably is better products on the market in terms of layering under your foundation. But this one to me wasn't a product. So I'm going to leave it in 2018. I mean, I tried it and I just wasn't a fan of it and I just did not like that golden coated on my hand. Was not a fan of that either. So just gonna leave this product behind in 2018. All right, moving on into my next product is going to be my face powders. I actually have three face powders in front of me. I have the Maybelline Fit Me face powder. I have the One by Makeup Forever is the Duo Matte powder. And then I also have the Wet n Wild Press powder as well. And I honestly did not reach for these face powders once I got my NYX No Selfie face powder. I told you guys that face powder pretty much just came and conquered above all other face powders. And if you guys watch my drugstore best of beauty video, I told you guys if you have dry skin, face powders isn't going to be a preference in terms of like, oh my god, I have to try the newest face powder. Because we have dry skin and I kind of feel like Pressed powders, it's just used to set your makeup in terms of like my perspective. Now, if you have oily skin, of course, you're going to care a little bit more than I would care because you want to have a pressed powder or face powder that's going to mattify your skin and keep your makeup, you know, in place in terms of not getting oily. So you're going to care more than I would care because I have dry skin and you guys know some pressed powders can cling to your patches and just make you look super matte and it's not a thing for me. So that one pretty much changed my perspective as far as like pressed powders because that one gives me a nice glow to my skin. It makes me look really like healthy and a couple of you guys have told me like my skin, my skin looks like it's glowing whenever I use it. So I could definitely see a difference and these were just what it was, a pressed powder and they served this purpose. The Makeup Forever one pretty much was like my holy grail one as you guys can see I have killed it like it was my go-to face powder but i don't reach for it anymore and i just kind of feel like they serve this purpose but i'm pretty much done with it for now so i'm just going to continue to use my nyx no selfie press powder in 2019 until something else comes along that pretty much blows on mine so yeah all right so next product is going to be a highlighter it's going to be by milani it is the golden light spotlight highlighting palette here is what the palette looked like and I honestly thought I was going to love this product when I purchased it because you pretty much have like your gold uh, your gold highlighter, you have a bronzy one, and you have a champagne color. And it's just a, like the perfect color combination for like your deeper skin tones. And I'm not going to say I hate the product because I really don't hate it. I'm just not blown away by it. And I did use it today as my highlighter for my face but I just wasn't blown away by the intensity of it because it's a really subtle highlighter so I kind of feel like if you like more of a subtle highlighter it's going to be perfect for you you guys know I love a nice like beaming highlighter now I did go over it with the other Milani one it's going to be the glowing strobe light powder which is this one and I was going to put it in the video as well, but I kind of figured I would give both of them a chance one more time to re really see how I feel about it. And this one to me kind of like stepped it up a little bit. Now, I will say this. I do like this one, but the consistency of the formula is really dry compared to what I'm used to. So it does give me the intensity that I like, but it's kind of a dry highlighter, but I still do like it and I'm going to continue to use it next year. It's just this particular product in general, I'm not going to use next year. Um, I'm not going to throw it away, of course not, but I'm just not going to reach for it in terms of like on camera or anything like that. And I didn't reach for it at all in 2018 as far as using it on camera, off camera, anything like that. But I just kind of feel like if you want a more intense highlighter, I wouldn't get it. If you like more of a subtle highlighter, you might like it, but 
it's not bad it's just not my favorite the next product is going to be brow pencils i actually have a few brow products in front of me um the first one is going to be by anastasia it's going to be the brow wiz and the brow definer you guys know i love the brow wiz back in 2017 and the beginning of 2018 it was pretty much like the first brow pencil that pretty much made it easier for me to do my brows i struggle with my brows for the longest um a couple years ago and i still do struggle sometimes here and there but i kind of felt like it was just so expensive in terms of how fast you go through the product so i was on a hunt for some drugstore options which i found two that pretty much just took the cake for me the covergirl brow pencil and the l'oreal brow stylist definer those two are pretty much like my holy grail two brow pencils um the brow definer by anastasia I didn't really care for it that much because it was hard in terms of giving you the brush like strokes in terms of like your hair for the eyebrows but it was easier to fill in the eyebrows much faster compared to the brow width so I just kind of felt like as a duo they worked really well but for the price it wasn't really worth it anymore because the drugstore pretty much stepped their game up with brow products so I pretty much once I ran out I just stopped using them I still have it in my collection because I like the spoolie on the end and I just use it to brush out my my hair for my eyebrows. Um, but as far as repurchasing them, I'm not going to repurchase it and I haven't repurchased it in a couple months now. So I'm going to say goodbye to this in 2018. I'm still going to keep it because I like the spoolie, but I'm not going to buy it, which I haven't anyway so yeah all right next one is going to be by nyx is going to be the eyebrow pencil i was on the hunt of trying out new brow pencils to replace my anastasia one and i wanted to give the one by nyx a try and y'all this freaking product was a joke like first of all the pencil is way too big it did not give you those brush like hair strokes and it the color is so off-putting and wrong like i was not a fan of it and there is no intensity as far as pigmentation here is the color of it swatched on my hand but i was not a fan of it and then the brush was a joke that's another reason why i kept this one because some drugstore eyebrow pencils brushes were either too flimsy they were not really an actual brush per se and i kind of felt like i'm not going to throw this away because it's a good quality brush as far as a spoolie is concerned this is a brush for the next one like what is this supposed to do like it is so flimsy it does absolutely nothing so that's another reason why i kept my anastasia pencil still because the spoolie is a really good spoolie so i'm going to say goodbye to the next one in 2018 as well and the last one is going to be by NYX is going to be the Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. Here is what the packaging looked like for it. This is actually my first pomade product for the eyebrows and I was trying to try out different brow products because I wasn't able to find a really good brow pencil yet. I wanted to give pomades a try and I actually like the pomade. It's super intense in pigment. It's easy to use. It did a really good job but I found my brow pencils eventually so I pretty much just stopped using the brow pomade and I do think it was a good pomade, it did its job, you know, it wasn't easy to use, but I eventually found my brow pencils. I honestly prefer pencils over pomades to be realistic. It's just my per personal preference. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that product behind, but it was a good product in terms of a pomade. So if you wanna try a pomade, give it a try if you want to, but I just like pencils better than pomades. So that's pretty much it for my makeup products. Moving on into skincare, I only have three skincare products. The first one is going to be by e.l.f. It's a daily hydration moisturizer. I told you guys back in 2017 and 2018, the beginning of 2018, that I liked the product. Um, but I kind of felt like either my skin was getting used to it or my skin was getting more dry because eventually it stopped working to me. And I always had to use my Mari Badescu spray on top of it to give it some more like moisture because this alone wasn't working anymore. And I stopped using it and I went ahead and bought some more moisturizers. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it behind in 2018 because I kind of feel like it just wasn't working anymore. It is more of a lightweight consistency. And I kind of feel like if you have dry skin, Go ahead and try it if it's not severely dry. So again, if you have dry skin to where it's not too overly drying, I think you'll like it a lot. But if you have really, 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 really dry skin, I wouldn't get it because it's not going to be enough moisture for you. So I think that's, that's what kind of happened to me. You know, I have my moments where my skin is dry, but then I have moments where it's like really, really dry. So... It worked, but I won't buy it again in 2019, so yeah. All right, next product is going to be by e.l.f. It's going to be the Hydrating Bubble Mask. I was so excited to try this product out because I saw really good things about it, and I was very interested in the product. 
you guys when i used it for the first time it burned the crap out of my eyes like it burned so bad i could not wait to get the freaking product off of my face but i was so intrigued by it and i was kind of disappointed because it's going to be a hydrating bubble mask for the face and i just thought the concept of it was really cool and different but it just burnt my eyes really bad so i I will have to leave it behind in 2018 and it's so much product in here because I only used it once but after that one time I was pretty much like I'm done with it so yeah all right and the last one is going to be my the last one is going to be by Neutrogena it's going to be the oil free acne stress control triple action toner everyone pretty much talked about this product as far as being a really good toner for the skin it does have salicylic acid so it's a good acne treatment but again it just burned my eyes so bad and I pretty much just put it to the side after that any product that's going to burn my eyes I just stop using it automatically because I don't have time for that and I feel like it's just way too many products on the market that's not going to burn my eyes so I pretty much just set it to the side and I stopped using it after that because I have other, other toners in my collection too that I like a lot so I was just trying to give something else a try but it didn't work out for me and that's pretty much just where I stand with that so Hey you guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you heard Trey Trey in the background, I apologize. It's a Sunday and he's up playing around. So if you heard him, I apologize. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like always, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.